Hi guys, this is Ralph. Today I want to go over Royalty.com with you. Now I got introduced to this program from a buddy of mine who pitched me on the idea from a business perspective that there was a lot of money to be made with it. And I'm not going to go over that with you. So what I want you to do right now is to take a look and see what I'm looking at on the screen, which is what Royalty says that they're going to be doing for you. They say that your marketing is going to be done for you. It's an all-in-one marketing platform powered by artificial intelligence. Okay, They say that your SEO is going to be done for you, that your online ads are done for you, that your social marketing is done for you. These look like posts, right? Um, that your blog is done for you. Blog has content. That your email marketing is done for you as well. That your CRM analytics is done for you again. All right, so everything's done for you. In other words, there's really nothing that you've got to do, right? So what happens is after you pay your, 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 your fee here, if you decide that this isn't for you, that you're not getting the service that you thought you were going to get, whatever you paid in here, you're not going to be given a refund. There is no refunds from this company. They do not do refunds. So let me repeat. If you sign up here, whatever you pay here, you're going to lose it because they do not provide refunds if you want a refund. All right. So to get started, what happens is you fill out this form and you put in the name of your business. Let's just call it Bob's BBQ of Austin, Texas. And select what kind of industry you're in. And let's say it's a restaurant. Okay. Put in a short little description. Again, this is just a demo. I'm going to save this because I, I know what I'm going to have to do later. So I'm going to redo it just a moment and I'll show you why. So select the color. And to kickstart this and create your at least something, right? So it's, it's going through the system and it's processing what you just inputted. And it says it's building your blog, it's building your social marketing, all your marketing, um, your website. Everything's done for you. And then you've got to select a plan that you want to start off with, right? And then you make your payment. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button here. Back button one more time. And I'm going to go ahead and just log in because I already have a membership. So your business should already be set up. And I'm going to create the example that I did before, Bob's Barbecue, because I didn't, it's not in here. Food restaurant. Here we go. Subcategory, restaurant. Uh, would I like to activate AI? I'm going to say yes. All right. It creates your landing page, but they don't create a blog for you. All right, so let me go ahead and go there. Let's take a look to see what's in there right now. There is no blog button or information yet, by the way, because there are no articles. So you've got to input your articles into the blog. So number one, you basically got to create your own blog because it didn't do it for you. And now you got to get your content to put into your blog, right? So again, you were supposed to get this automatically, right? I mean, from the very beginning, they said, hey, it's been done, right? Your social media has been done. Your blog's been done, right? Well, it wasn't. So let's go to social marketing, and let's go to add new, and let's look for restaurant or food restaurant, and let's get an article. All right. So as I'm selecting this, by the way, let me just bring up the article real quick. I want you to see something here. The article is on designhill.com. That's someone else's website. It's not on my website. It's someone else's, right? So I'm going to select it. And there's this is how it's going to look on my website at some point. Just, <clears throat> just so you know. It's going to... Uh, require that whoever wants to read the article has got to put in their name their e name and email address and then click on the button for read article 
and then after that point, then it'll redirect them to the web page. All right, so I'm going to say post. All right, here we go. So in order to post it onto your article, you've got to share it first somewhere, all right? So you're, you're doing your social media marketing at this point because you're, you're sharing content, right? You're posting. Again, this is, supposed, this is supposed to be done for you, but it's not. It's making it a little bit easier for you because it's taking articles and it's saying, hey, if you want to share this article, well, we'll put it as a link on your website, but you're going to have to go out there and share it. So your social media, your social marketing, you've got to do it. All right, so I'm going to click on share, and I'm going to pretend, because I learned this from the customer help desk, that this is what you do. You don't actually have to share it, but in order to post it to your page, you've got to say that you did share it, all right? So I'm going to click on yes. It says great. Now at this point it says, do you want to add this content to your website's blog, right? So you're adding the content to the blog, so you're creating the, the content. I mean, you're adding content and you're creating your blog at this point. You're building up your blog. So I'm going to say yes. All right, awesome, it's done. All right, now let's go back to the landing page and it should be there. Click on edit and there's the article. All right, great. I'm going to click on save. Save and exit. Now let's go take a look at the page. All right, click to read BBQ News, right? Well, that goes to a video directly. What if I told you that I run? I didn't want that to happen. Let's click on click to read BBQ News. Well, it just gave me the blog article on the separate page, and it's going to the video. Hi, my name is Jacqueline McAllister, and so, I'm with Paid Stilling Pan. What is the problem with this? The problem is that it's going directly to someone else's content, right? It's an outbound link, meaning that it doesn't reside on your website, okay? You've got a link here. And it looks like you've got content, but it's going somewhere else. That's not the way that you want to have content on your website. You don't want outbound links to someone else's website because then your audience's attention goes elsewhere that to a place where, that, where you don't control. So when someone clicks on this link here, then the, the internet is full of all sorts of Let me stop it real quick. The article... That is the, the advertisement here from Squarespace, by the way. That money, that advertiser is paying this person that owns this YouTube channel a little bit of money when that advertisement is being shown. And unfortunately, it's not you. You need to be the one that's earning money from this. So the, any kind of outbound links, whether it's to articles or to YouTube videos or any video, you need to own the, the content so that you get paid from this potentially or you can put advertising on it. So let me close this down. Let's go back to the page here. All right. So again, this was supposed to be done for you and it's not. The only thing that they do for you is create for you a simple page which you can turn around and you can you know, change the colors on and you can add links to it with graphics, it makes it a little bit easier, and then you've got to go out there and share it through the social marketing. In addition to that, let's see what kind of email campaigns are here. Again, this is all supposed to be done for you. Meaning that I would assume a bunch of emails have been pre-written pre for you and it's a matter of just letting them be sent out as soon as somebody uh, subscribes or puts inputs their name and email address, right? Well, let's take a look here. Here's the newsletter template. There's one of them. Well, that's the message. There's one message in here. 
That's it. I don't see any other... I don't see nothing else. So, all right, email campaigns, let's, let's do another one, right? Do you see where I'm getting at? Each of the things that they promised they're going to do for you, they didn't do. All right, let's go next to online ads. You've got to set up your own online ads. Let's go here to the... Where is the pre-made ads? Look, I've got to create my own ad. I've got to put in my own headline. Do you know what to put into your headline? If you have no experience with advertising, you've got to think of it on your own, right? Someone's got to do it, but it's not been done for you as promised. And that's the problem I, I one of the problems I have with it is that they're not providing the social media or social marketing uh, campaigns for you. It's not done for you. The blog is not done for you. The articles are not, uh, they're not even creating them. Uh, the articles are on someone else's website that you have no control over. And if you spend money on advertising, what happens is when somebody goes to your web page and you, if you're paying money through Google or any other way to drive traffic to your website, what happens is they're going to go here, they're going to click on the article, hypothetically, or the video, and they're going to someone else's website. And YouTube, for example, if you don't own, own the, article, the video on YouTube, then you're not getting paid if an advertiser pays for advertising. So you have no control over that. So in essence, what you're doing is for a fancy, automatic, one-page web builder, and you're paying $89 a month. Whereas, in comparison, you can get a lot better service. So let me give you the option that I think you may want to consider. Now I'll provide you a link below. It's called Builderall. And in the plans, by the way, in the plans, you can choose a free account to try it out. Try this out. And you can make your own web pages, multiple web pages. You can create a funnel system uh, whereby someone has to input their email address before they see an article, for example. So you can do the exact same thing with Builderall and control it for a lot less money. And then, of course, when you want to, if you want to uh, get a different account, uh, you can upgrade. Uh, after 14 days or just cancel uh, to any of these plans here but they're a lot less expensive than with royalty so that's my review of royalty.com I want you to be aware of it because I found out that you cannot get a refund through royalty they won't give it to you in addition to that they do not automatically build your social marketing for you they don't automatically create a blog for you. They don't automatically create an email series of uh, messages going out for you. And you're basically paying a lot of money for really not much value. So I highly recommend that you consider BuildRaw. I'm going to put a link below it. I've got some other information that I can share with you about making money online and promoting yourself online, uh, having a presence on the Internet. And I'd be glad to share that with you. So thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. And thank you for stopping by today.